Baltimore on fire. More than a dozen buildings and a hundred cars were in flames last night. Two shootings in Baltimore that happened this morning. Last night, a group of four women, all in their 20s, was shot and wounded by a gunman in East Baltimore. One man was shot multiple times on West Lexington Street. Another man was shot in the shoulder at Sanford and Division Streets. But early this morning, a woman and a man were shot and killed in Southwest Baltimore. This is a neighborhood where there is a lot of violence that happens regularly. But no one's offering them a job. The only person that's offering them the job is the dealer on the streets. But there were those from the community who intervened. When students returned this year, they found a school they could be proud of. Former Raven Safety Ed Reed and his foundation joined community volunteers to assemble and hand out 400 free Thanksgiving meals. Ed Reed is helping some students achieve academic success. His foundation offered a scholarship program to the senior football players and managers at the Seed School. This year, the former Safeties Foundation awarded the scholarship to five students. You want to make sure they have an environment that they can go to and it changed their lives in a great way, positive way. You know, not every kid has clean paint when they leave here in their home. Not every kid is going to have somebody supporting them. Ed started working with Booker T. Washington Middle School in West Baltimore in 2002 as a rookie. His foundation has been part of the school ever since, implementing mentor and leadership programs, field trips for the achieving children to Ravens home games, enrichment trips to corporations, along with the funding of health and wellness activities such as Fitness Day and after-school intramural sports. The foundation provides food at Thanksgiving for the families of Booker T, along with Christmas for the kids. How do you like it here? Cool. I thought it was bad when I first came. Bad. Everybody said it was bad. It's Baltimore. People die every day. With the crime in the community, with the economic uh, situation that the kids face in the community. A lot of resources need to be brought here to help and to help the school system and help the school. The thing I, I like to say about the Ed Weed Foundation is that it really helps out tremendously with the students. I mean, the students are able to see another side of education. I mean, they're able to go down to the stadium to go to the games, and a lot of them wouldn't be able to afford to go to the games without the Ed Reed Foundation. Yeah, I think Fitness Day came in handy because once he came outside, he gave us a speech, and he said, like, we could do that. we put our minds to, just don't be outside on the streets. All the kids was taking him serious. Everybody had fun. They was happy. They, went, they ran over there to get his signature signed on their shirt. Ed is an amazing guy. When you look at him playing on the field, the intensity, that same mentality he brings to the community. Even to this day, he is still here at Booker T. Since 2009, the Ed Reed Foundation has been part of the Seed School of Maryland, this wonderful school where the children live Sunday through Friday and graduate both from high school and college above the national levels. As part of the foundation's health and wellness initiatives, they funded the school's football program, have held fitness days, and provide the entire student body Thanksgiving meals to take home for all to enjoy the blessings for the holiday. In addition, the Read for Seeds scholarship program has been established for outgoing football players and managers to help their college endeavors. He got introduced to our school in 2009, um, about a year after we opened. It was an experience, it was a good experience, just like being able to meet a Hall of Famer and then somebody who played for the home, my home team and my team, so it was like, yeah, I liked it. I actually played football against Ed Reed, caught a pass on him, I was excited. Ever since then, he became involved. In the following year, he had a fitness day here. He invited some other Ravens players. The year after that, he came back for another fitness day. Sometimes the kids don't know it, but the impact of just something as simple as Turkey Day. It was really nice. Like I guess with just seeing that, just helping like them like pack up the turkeys and bags and putting in family's cars. Like it was really nice. Because I know some years my family probably wouldn't have had some Thanksgivings. Because we had that Reed Foundation, we were able to have Thanksgiving every year. I just want to say thank you to you guys. Thank you to the foundation. Thank you to Ed Reed. And it's one thing to give money to uh, support programs, but to put your mind and your body and your heart into it. 
I had to mature real fast because of my environment. All I really wanted to do was provide for my family. We didn't have the structure, we didn't have the environment. You had to surround yourself with the right people that support you. If you don't have the right people in your environment, you won't make it, y'all. Everyone has their own greatness, and you reach your own greatness depends on your environment, your structure, company you keep. There will be good and bad, right and wrong. Your reaction of choice, good or bad, has consequences. No matter what, encourage those around you and yourself. Iron sharpens iron.